First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh is the name of the living Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of his son, it means he is who saves, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he is, Yahweh means the Holy Spirit. Daniel chapter 8, I'm just going to read it out because I'll get the breakdown for the Spirit and I'll break it down. In the third year of the reign of King Belshazzar, a vision appeared unto me, even unto me, Daniel, after which it appeared unto me at first, and I saw in a vision, and it came to pass, when I saw that I was at Shushan in the palace, where, which is the province of Elam, and I saw in a vision, and I was by the, a, the river of Ulai. Then I lifted up mine eyes, and I saw, and beheld there stood before the river a ram, which had two horns, and the two horns were high. But one was higher than the other, and the higher came up last. I saw the ram pushing westward, and northward, and southward, so that no beast might stand before him. Neither was there any that could deliver it out of thy, out of his hand. So it's like a power, it's like um, like a nation that's conquering. But he did according to his will and became great. As I was considering, behold, and a he goat came from the west on the face of the whole earth and touched not the ground. And the goat had notable horns between his eyes. And he came to the ram that had two horns, which I had seen standing before the river. So it's not touching the ground. It's like it's flying. Uh, which I had seen standing before the river and ran unto him in the fury of his power. And I saw him come close unto the ram, and he was moved with a collar against him and smote the ram. And break his two horns, and there was no power in the ram to stand before him, but he cast him down into the ground and stamped upon him, and there was none that could deliver the ram out of his hand. Therefore the he goat waxed very great, and he was strong. The great horn was broken, for it came up for it came up four notable ones towards the four winds of heaven. And out of the, one of them came forth a little horn which waxed exceedingly great towards the south and towards the east and towards the pleasant land so these are dynasties and it waxed great even to the host of heaven and cast down some of the host of the stars of the ground and stamped upon them yea he magnifies himself even the prince of the host so this is a power that's not on this is a left hand side power that that is now taken over and even is, you know, troubling those that are in heaven somewhat. Yea, he magnified himself to the prince of the host, and by him the daily sacrifice was taken away, and the, pal the place of sanctuary was cast down. So this is uh, this is a power or dynasty that takes away the traditions of the Hebrews, the sacraments, you know. And the holy days and the sacrifices and the feast days. And the host was given him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression. And it cast down the truth to the ground and it practiced and it prospered. So he's doing some left hand side bit bullshit. <laughs> and I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation? to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot. And he said unto me, Unto two thousand three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. And it came to pass, when I, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision, and sought for the meaning, then behold, there stood before me the appearance of a man, and I heard a man's voice between the banks of Ulai, which said, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man understand the vision, so he came near where I stood, and when he came I was afraid and fell upon my face. So he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the, of the end shall be the vision. So this is what's going to happen towards the end of times. Now as he was speaking with me, I was in deep sleep on my face towards the ground, but he touched me and set me upright. And he said, Behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of indignation for at the time appointed the end shall be the ram which thou sawest having two horns are the kings of Media and Persia and the rough goat is the king of Grecia 
and the great horn is between the, between the eyes is the first king. Now that being broken, verse 4 stood up for it. Four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation, but not in his, in his power. In the latter time of the kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. This dark sentences is something that probably needs to be understood, but it seems like there's going to be a conflict and a war. Um, the Medians and the Persians are the Iranians. I thought the Medians were the Iranians, but they're probably the Turks. We're seeing that kind of conflict happening now. Um, the king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences. Dark sentences, not just um, left hand side stuff, but it's riddles. With, um, the, the, this person has knowledge of things that other people find difficult to have to understand. Um, has great wisdom. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper in practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And through his policy he shall you cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. And this sounds like Esau. <laughs> straight. <laughs> sounds straight like Esau. Got his name written all over it. You know, it's being, um, doing left-hand side shit, destroying, but it's not by his own hand, you know, it's by the will of Yahweh through the left-hand side. Um, through his policy, he should cause craft to prosper, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. Esau is so hella proud. Look at Trump. Might have taken out. And by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. And that's what's happening right now. And the vision of the evening and the morning, which was told, was true. Therefore, shut down up the vision, for it shall be many days. So it's like, look, you don't need to start buying indictment right now because it ain't coming right now. And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick certain days. Afterwards, I rose up and did the king's business. And I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. And praise his